and a half years ago, four and a half years ago, I had one of my greatest finds while traveling, both money-wise and rarity-wise. And today, I'm here, where it all happened. I'm finally back in Mexico City. I can't believe that I'm here. I'm here to chase that big find. I'm here to chase that magic. I want to find it again, you know? I want that feeling all over again. And that's why I'm here. And to start this series off right, I want to make sure that we go to the place where it first all happened. And that is, of course, you know where it is. You remember the video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Freaky Plaza. Pokemon Stadium 2, 1390. Got some NES cards here. Final Fantasy 450. Adventure Island 2, 500. ¿Qué cuesta en el Mario Party? ¿De Cubo? Sí. Están en este. Eh, 990 cualquiera de los dos. Y el otro es el. Es el mismo 7, ah, ok. Sí, es el, ah, sí, es el, ah, ¿Y el, el Mario Kart cuánto? El Kart este está en este. 850. Eh, en 850. Ok. Vamos a ir al basement. So the basement has turned into a, a TGC Pokemon and anime area. What a difference four years makes. Well, here we go. They changed it. Fourth floor. No tiene nada más de Pokémon sellado. Pokémon sellado. Es el um, Heart Gold y el Soul Silver están sellados. Hasta ahí. Es que están pegados. ¿Qué luego se me cae? Ah, ya. Yeah. Ajá, ¿qué es lo que? Y los precios. Este tiene un precio de 5300. 5300. ¿Y este? 5800. 5800. 5300. El esmeralda lo tengo en 3200. ¿El cristal es original? El cristal sí, ese está en 3500. ¿Ese Marvel está completo? Cualquiera de los dos. Sí, sí, sí. sí. ¿Cómo estás? Bueno, ¿cómo está? Buenas tardes. ¿no? ¿Qué cosa es el Pokémon Colosal? ¿En 2000? ¿Podría verlo, por favor? ¿Qué es esas gomitas de Sakura? No. Is there a 200? 10 dollar bin. You gotta be careful with these reseals. They're all over the place. We got gold at 1700, silver at 1900, and 1400 is blue. 3500 for silver, for a crystal, sorry. ¿Qué cuesta el rojo? Eh, 
el oro. Ese estaría en 1300. Y el esmeralda. 2400. ¿Qué cuesta la PSPGO? Esta la tengo en 1700, amigo. Ya está. 2000. Sí, bueno, podemos bajar un poquito. Y este es un resello. ¿Eh? Es un sello. Eh, re... Sí, sí. Este no. lo cerramos para que no se maltraten más las cajas y no se les vaya a perder nada. Sí, claro. Sí. That was good, but I was told you can't film there, and you're not allowed to film inside. But I did anyway. Um, it's going to be a little tough, but here's another place. This place is called Fan Center. It's right next to Freaky Plaza. Fan Center. Um, it seems like it's it's uh, promising. Let's go check it out. So downstairs is uh, for fans of cell phone repair. What is this? Upstairs, look at this. Already we see a Hyperstone heist. Bunch of SPs. We're a big fan of the GameCube games on wall taped together here. Oh, these are good. Una pregunta rara. Venden ese aviso. ¿Eh? El aviso está en venta. No. no Me han ofrecido hasta 3 mil pesos por él. Nunca lo quiero vender. Está bonito. Sí, ese es, tengo que poner desde que salió. Hmm. Y si, sí, una vez me pusieron 3 mil baros. ¿no? 3 mil lo ofrecieron. Ajá. ¿Puedo verlo? No, ¿Me puedo primero. tomar foto? Claro. No creo que venga. Eh. ¿Qué precio tiene el cristal? ¿Lo ¿Cristal? Eh, 2400. 2400. Ah. That was cool. Um, every every one of these malls seems to have like a like a cell phone repair in the first floor. Second floor will be video games, and then the third floor would be like TCG uh, card stuff. And then another floor with like anime and things like that. So that's that's a pretty cool theme to to check out. Uh, if you're ever here, check out Fan Center and Freaky Plaza. It's a good place to start. And I also saw another place. You see it right behind me. I'm gonna go check it out. <laughs> Yo, what's going on down there? You go down the steps, look. You go down and there's tortas and guaraches. I need to check that out. But yeah, for now I'm checking out a place called Pika Shop. They got posters, comics, cosmetics, and cosplay. And it's it's an otaku center. It's worth checking out. Let's go. Baterías, centros de carga, micrófonos, cámaras y mucho más. Además, ¿Cuál? El aviso de luz. Ah, el de ese no. Sí, el de ese. <risa> This isn't my scene, but it's still pretty cool to look. Like, I don't know what I'm looking at, but. Es 
vuelta hacia la derecha, por favor. Could be anything from here. Ooh. Muchas gracias. Muchísimas gracias. This guy. With the frying pan. Nice. Fija una nueva audiencia hasta enero del año que viene. Con la nueva audiencia. ¿Se puede pasar? Sí. Tengo más, de hecho. De este lado tengo los... Este es el Vanguard Divine. Somebody... Somebody would freak out if that standee was there. I'm still going crazy over the Zelda one. That one was awesome. I offered him uh, two hundred dollars. He said no. So that was Pika Shop. Uh, Pika Shop, not for me, but definitely for someone. It might get better on the weekends. Uh, it was it was pretty cool. Then we got this place called Athena's Plaza. Okay, I'm assuming they sell the same type of stuff, uh, but you know what the best part of being here is? We don't have to assume. All we gotta do is go in. Let's go. Yeah, it's more card stuff. And then we end up here. What is this? Okay, a little, little, little alley. And then we're right back outside. That place was more for like magic, Magic the Gathering, and other cards that aren't Pokemon. So yeah, right next to a Poke. Poke stop or whatever that place was called. Oh, no se ve por eso. So you can see everything boarded up and all the businesses around here. Even the palace is uh, barricaded. Everything's barricaded because tomorrow is the presidential inauguration and uh yeah first uh first woman president in history so i don't know how that's gonna affect how does that affect my swap meets tomorrow and that was it guys that was a good first day uh, i'm trying, trying to get my bearings i'm trying to get used to mexico city it's been four and a half years like i said and you know the prices have changed everything's changed here so um Everything's changed, but stayed the same. You know what I mean? Prices are different than Colombia. Uh, I was getting, I got used to Colombia 100%. It's cheaper. I have more connections out there. I have more friends out there. I have nobody here. So it's going to have to be a, a start over type of situation. And that's okay, because I'm into it. So all week, I'm going to be hitting uh, swap meets. And I want you guys to come along with me. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and like. This Mexico City series is going to be amazing.